Excuse me. Yeah. Can I go ahead and get a, a double shot of lemon coke on me? Can you come? I miss my flight, so it's been a little bit stressful, but oh, other than that, yeah, it's all good, though. So, got another one coming in on Monday. So I appreciate the drink, but I do need a pair of Yeah. You see that fine lady on there? Oh, yeah. You can get whatever she's having a second room with me. No problem. Thank you. Hello. My name is Griffin. It is a pleasure to be in your presence. Hi. My name is Amethyst. It's nice to meet you. Would you like to have a seat, Mr. Griffin? <laughs> Griffin will be fine. So where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Where are you from? I'm from uh, North Carolina, a small town called Greensboro. Have you heard about it? Oh my God, that is such a small world. Like, I have an aunt that actually is from that city. Okay. Yeah, I used to visit her every summer as a kid. What do you do for them? I'm actually a lawyer. Okay. What about you? Uh, I'm a freelance writer. You know, I write about some, pretty much the youth and how the undevelopment leads to the prison. So, you married? No, I'm not married. Not at all? No. You sure? I'm sure. Are right. you married? No. I promise. Okay. I promise. And I just wanted to come and compliment on that lovely shade of purple you're wearing. It really brings out your ebony skin tone. Thank you. You know, I wasn't expecting you to comment on the dress or the color at all. Don't get me wrong, you're wearing the dress just right. And when I see a woman in purple, it makes me see her as royalty. So I was wondering, where's your crown at? <laughs> I'm glad. So what are you getting into this weekend? Um, you know, I'm not really sure. Um, I just decided to come down to the bar after working a long day and grab a drink. But fortunately for me, this mm -hmm. gorgeous man came and brought me a drink. So what am I to do? I don't know. The world is yours. I'm just trying to be a part of it. I'm just speaking the truth. The truth, huh? Uh -huh. So what's your truth? My truth? is that I want to make love to your mind, body, and spirit, if I can speak my truth. Okay. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. So, what are your plans for tonight? Well, I missed my flight, so I just came down here, grab a drink, some food maybe, and hit the sack. What about you? 
Well, I don't really have plans. Um, I had to work long hours today, and I'm tired, but I couldn't sleep. So I decided to get dressed and come down to the bar and get a drink. But unfortunately for me, this gorgeous man came and sat down next to me. So what am I to do? I don't know, baby. The world is yours, and I'm just trying to be a part of it. OK, I'm going to say something really bold to you. Yeah. What's that? I don't have on any panties. Hey, bartender. Yes, sir. Can I put my tab? Please. Thank yeah. you. So high, feel like I can touch the sky. More than a vibe, it's something you can't describe. I saw you lonely and all by yourself. And made the move, you couldn't help myself. Now we fall in. Y'all brown sugar's just enough. I go all in. Now we fall in. Y'all brown sugar's just enough. I go all We flow so high, feel like I can touch the sky. More than a vibe, is something you can't describe. I saw you lonely and all by yourself. And made the move, you couldn't help myself. Now we fall in. Your brown sugar's just enough. I go all in. Now we fall in. Your brown sugar's just enough. I go all in. Good morning, Griffin. Oh, good morning, Nemesis. Mm -hmm. I got us a little breakfast, so I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. It looks delicious, actually. Well, why don't you sit your pretty ass back and let me feed you. Oh, you're serving me? I feel so special. <laughs> you should feel special. You know, I'm glad I met a woman like me. 
you really know how to make it easier on a brother after a long, hard week of writing. Yeah, I know how strenuous that can be, so let me kiss it. <laughs> I could get used to a woman like me. She like molasses and tastes like blackberries. <laughs> Thank you, but I just hope you don't think I'm a hoe, you know, because I slept with you on the first date. No, you don't gotta worry about that. You are a very intelligent woman, and I can tell that you just go for what you want. Mm. So, what would you like to do today, Miss Lady? Well, today I want to, hmm, thank you. I want to go into the city, mm -hmm. and then I want to walk to the lake mm -hmm. and possibly get to know you better. Okay, well, on top of that, you ever been down to the water side before? No, I haven't. All right, well, we could go down there, get some food, you know what I'm saying, and then zone out until Monday morning. All good? That sounds like a plan, but... It'll only happen if you feed me more of those mangoes. <laughs> I think I can make that happen. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need you to sit up for me to make this happen. Then. Okay. This has been a great weekend. I feel stress-free. I feel relaxed. This has if all of my worries have been washed away by the time. Well, that's what some good sex, meditation, some working out, some good smoke will get you. What? We didn't smoke anything. Must be getting high off a little. Well, since this is our last day together, I just want you to know that this is an experience that I will never forget, and I'm not glad to have met you. Well. You see that water over there? They separate lands, not souls. So I always find a way to float by you and say, hey. <laughs> Someone's gonna be very lucky to have you. I know. But until that day, let's just make love until the sunrise, Deal? Deal. Same time, babe. Can you tell me what you desire? 
Can you tell me what you inspire? Mm, hold my hand. Let me walk through this garden of your mind. We're looking at the birch tree. No monsters in here, yeah. Everything about you is real. Everything about you is real. Yeah, thinking about you all day. Hey, baby. How was your weekend? 